Okay, so what you've got mm -hmm. are a set of um, very narrow light sources, narrow wavelength mm -hmm. light sources. Mm -hmm. So these get switched on sequentially. Mm -hmm. uh, this camera in the middle here, mm -hmm. that camera is capable of operating into wavelengths that beyond what our eye can see. So they can see up to um, your eye can see from 400 to 700 nanometers wavelength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Il peut voir en en dessous du sol. Yes. That camera can see from 400 to 1,100 nanometers. So it can see. What would that be? That's about uh, um, two and a half times the wavelengths your eyes can see, mm -hmm. and it's a lot more sensitive in doing it. So by lighting the area with these narrow band LEDs, mm -hmm. light between diodes. Mm -hmm. Um, you can imagine you, 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 yeah. you're lighting your hand or a leaf up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can then take an image, mm -hmm. subtract away the, the, the image from the light here, mm -hmm. and then you'll get just the image at that wavelength. Mm -hmm. And so by sequentially turning these on and off, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you get what Charles was mentioning, the, the layered hyperspectral image. Wow. And, and so yeah. from that, you can then start picking out the features, uh, you know, features you can't see with your eye. My name is Charles Hayes. Uh, I've been working on the um, uh, conjunction between Barefoot Lightning and the University of Manchester on a hyperspectral imaging device um, for smallholder developing farmers. Um, here we have uh, the various um, prototypes for the uh, hyperspectral uh, imaging device. Um, we go through to the different devices from, from the first initial te preliminary testing um, through to the much smaller um, surface mount uh, designs which are more cost effective when uh, producing in volume um, when compared to the through hole design. Um, we have the device here. Um, this is currently connected to a um, temporary um, power source. Um, in later designs, um, this power source will actually integrate into the full design and will run off a standard um, battery housing. The device has uh, USB connectivity and thus can be connected to uh, any smartphone using uh, Android software. Um, the application at the moment uh, accesses the hardware uh, and can be easily set off through. Once set off, the um, device will take uh, snapshots of a sample. For example, in the housing, it will hold the leaf at a set um, object distance and record at each narrowband wavelength um, a snapshot. When surmised, all the snapshots will create um, a hypercube of data and can be analysed for certain um, wavelengths of interest to us in the lab. Um, these can be used and um, created using false images, um, such as the one over here. Uh, the last version, or you have to make a kind no, of this call. Is no, this, no, is no, this is very like This is the third. There should be not ten, maybe. Yeah, so yeah. In society, or not. Uh, here we have the surface mount design, which is um, almost finished. There's a few changes to the to the tracks and the connections that need to be made, um, but it works in a similar way. Each AD illuminating at set wavelengths. Was it not? Oh, no, I just yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm really very, very yeah. impressed. Thank you, Simon. You're welcome. Thank you very much.